हेलो फ्रेंड्स यू ऑल मस्ट बी बिजी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर योर इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट एंड यू मस्ट बी अवेयर दैट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली आस क्वेश्चन इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट एंड इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज एग्जामिनेशन इज वॉट इज योर हॉबी दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फंडामेंटल क्वेश्चन हाउ यू कैन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इज गोइंग टू डिसाइड what is going to be the future discourse and in which direction your interview or the personality test is going to be the first difference you have to understand is the difference between hobby and interest most of the students they confuse their interest as their hobby and when they appear in the personality test they mention their interest as their hobby and finally they land up with less marks in the personality test so let us understand what is the difference between hobby and interest the first point is hobby is relatively permanent whereas the interest is temporary you may be having interest in watching cricket or playing cricket the next month 3 months 6 months 1 year you may develop interest in singing and next time you may be interested in something else you may be interested in other sports but when you say something is your hobby it is relatively it is comparatively permanent hobby is not going to be changing very frequently for example suppose i am saying that my hobby is watching cricket so when you enter into the uh, interview panel in the interview room and if you are saying that watching cricket or playing cricket is your hobby then you must be equipped with all the possible questions what is the diameter of the ball what is the average length of the bat what is the distance between the two stumps what is the dimension of the playground and different different details you must be aware you must be aware about different players their techniques even if they are bowlers they are fielders or they are wicket keepers or they are batsmen it means you must be equipped with all possible questions that can be asked in your hobby the second point is hobby reflects values and character whereas interest simply reflects choices why interest are going to be changing very frequently because they represent interest represent your choices whereas if you talk about a hobby hobby is going to reflect your value system and your character and that is why it cannot be changed very frequently and you must have seen people who develop something as their hobby they are too much involved in that even if they are too busy and even if they are having a leisure time they are always trapped in their hobby third point hobby reflects a healthy personality even if you are too much busy or you have a leisure time if you are following your hobby you try to reduce stress and you try to put yourself in the right direction positive direction that is how hobby is going to play a very constructive role in a healthy personality whereas if you talk about interest interest cannot be directly related it can be positive also it can be negative also in terms of your personality because you may have some interest which may not be useful to you which may not be useful to your profession your work or your career you can uh, take the best example as your mobile phone yes or no watching too much stuff on internet is going to waste lot of time and it is going to hamper your result or performance in the examination the fourth point is hobby is about relax relaxing when practiced in leisure time when you have a leisure time and even if i am saying if you are too much busy is still you you will see people used to follow their hobby whereas if you talk about the interest it is the first step towards developing a hobby it is not that suddenly overnight you are going to develop a hobby first you are going to develop an interest and over a period of time if you keep on following it keep on developing your interest in that then that interest will finally develop into a hobby fifth point hobby is about inner motivation if you are too much busy and still you are following your hobby it is only possible if you are having an inner motivation to follow your hobby whereas interest is about external motivation 
you will see most of the people after watching Hrithik Roshan's dance, they become interested in dance. After listening to Sonu Nigam's music or Lata Mangeshkar's music, they are interested in singing because you are getting external motivation. Now, people who are following their hobby, they are not driven by the external motivation. They have some inbuilt mechanism for a particular hobby so that they get motivated for it without any external motivation. Hobby is limited in numbers. You cannot have 100 hobbies. A, a healthy personality can have at max 1, 2, 3, maximum 3, 4, 5 hobbies. But if you see interest, interests are going to be very high in numbers. You may have more than 10, 20, 30, 50 choices or you can say interest in your life. But hobbies are going to be very limited. Hobby is about in-depth knowledge. I told you earlier that if you are saying watching cricket or playing cricket is your hobby, then you must have all the finer details about cricket as a sports. And if you talk about interest, it's about superficial knowledge. If you are saying that you are watching that you are watching cricket or playing cricket is your interest, then superficial knowledge is going to be sufficient. So this is all about the difference between hobbies and interest. And I, I, I can tell you that when you are going for interview in the engineering services examination in UPSC, you must be very careful while choosing your hobby. It's not about finding a hobby and then choosing it. It is better to develop a hobby and then choose it. Thank you so much. Stay subscribed to Baiju's exam prep for all such important details. Thank you so much.